Baggins is around here. They're all up in Hobbiton. Welcome once again, my fellow manipulators of digital fate. I'm Richie. This is Capricorn. Before we talk about today's deck, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons over at patreon.com slash quarantined Capricorn. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to keep the lights on over here. So Brittany, Bob Steele, Yuck Fuzzy, Noah Vincent, and especially our CPU savior, Terrence Rohrbach. Thank you guys so much for everything that you've uh, helped me with over there, everything that you've contributed. Uh, it really is appreciated uh, a lot. Uh, moving on, today's deck is called The Nine. This is a Golgari brew, but it's kind of more of a mono black brew, and we really only use green to try to ramp ourselves into what we're doing quicker, and what we're doing is playing the Nazgul. That's right, all nine versions of the Nazgul. We have one of each art. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Nazgul are the ring wraiths from Lord of the Rings, and there are nine of them. And for this set, they made nine distinct arts for this one card because you can have up to nine copies of the card in your deck. So we have one of each art in there. This was a deck that I played during early access and it was a ton of fun. But one of the things that the Nazgul are great at is utilizing synergies with wraiths. Their ability helps all wraiths on your battlefield. So we found some interesting tricky ways in alchemy to sort of enhance that wraith tribal synergy and i think our version is is super fun and it's definitely competitive we beat ali eldrazi we beat power dragon it was a wild time thank you wizards of the coast for inviting us to be a part of early access it means a lot uh before we get to the deck really quick make sure you like subscribe all that good stuff it helps this video get out to so many more people which helps the channel grow so i greatly appreciate it also, I stream live over on Twitch every day. That's twitch.tv slash quarantine Capricorn. Because if I'm alive and I'm breathing, I'm there and I'm streaming. Now let's check out the deck. All right, so this deck is very simple. We're running a card called Nazgul. Now, for those of you who are Lord of the Rings fans, the Nazgul are the nine humans that got the nine rings of power given to humans that were lords. Um, that were then corrupted and turned into these ring wraiths. Um, but the card itself within the game is a 1 2 wraith knight for 1 black and 2, has death touch. When it enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. And whenever the ring tempts you, you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each wraith you control. A deck can have up to 9 cards named Nazgul. So we are running all 9, of course. And the reason this deck gets kind of crazy is because once you have multiple Nazgul, on the field they all start to trigger exponentially and trigger each other so if you have two nazgul on the field already and you play a third nazgul the ring's going to tempt you and then all three nazgul are going to get three plus one plus one counters from each of the nazgul triggering and these cards just grow to absurd proportions it gets really out of hand and they didn't they just swing in for the win very, very early out of nowhere sometimes. Um, we're backing up this concept uh, concept with Coalition Construct, which is an alchemy card where for three mana you get a 2-2 artifact creature construct, but when it enters the battlefield you get to choose a creature type. Comes into play, it is that type, and when it enters the battlefield, other creatures you control of the chosen type and creature cards of that type in your hand perpetually get plus one, plus one. So this is a way in alchemy to play another wraith, that gets on the field and continues to get all of the plus one plus one counters generated from all nine Nazgul, but it's also going to add a little bit of extra value where it's going to give all the Nazgul in our hand plus one plus one forever, any Nazgul that might be down on the field already plus one plus one forever, and just buff those Nazgul up that much more. So any chance to play a Wraith in the deck like this so that it can get all of the counters off of the Nazgul triggers? We definitely want to take those chances. So, for Coalition Construct, and for similar reasons, we have two Witch King of Angmar. This is five mana for a 5-3 flyer. It is a Wraith Noble, so it counts as a Wraith. We're only running two because it's legendary. Whenever one or more creatures deal combat damage to you, 
Each opponent sacrifices a creature that dealt combat damage to this turn and the ring tempts you. So they can't even swing in without losing a creature and then the ring tempts you and triggers all of your Nazgul, which is just nuts. Also, you can discard a card to give it indestructible until end of turn and then tap it. So it's really hard to get rid of the Witch King of Angmar, but the fact that it's a Wraith and it can get all those counters from the Nazgul triggers is what really pushes it over the top. We've also got two Sauron the Necromancer. Now this is not a Wraith per se. It's a 4-4 legendary avatar horror for two black and three. It has Menace. Whenever he attacks, he exiles target creature card from your graveyard and you create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 3-3 black Wraith with Menace. At the beginning of the next end step, exile that token unless Sauron is your ring bearer. So if you make Sauron your ring bearer with your The Ring Tempts You trigger, you don't have to sacrifice the tokens. You're just bringing all of your things back, getting Enter the Battlefield triggers from Nazgul if you're bringing a token of Nazgul back itself. You know, getting the triggers off Coalition Construct if you're, if you're bringing that back. Um, and then if Sauron is your ring bearer, you get to keep those tokens. But you can bring back some of the other creatures in this deck that we have earlier in the curve, which I'll get to in just a minute, and those become wraiths. And then they get the boosts from the Nazgul. And like I said, if you're able to make Sauron your ring bearer, you get to keep those tokens as well, which is crazy. So let's go to the bottom of the curve now. We've got four Delighted Halfling. This is a new creature in green, a 1-2 Halfling citizen for one green. It can tap for a colorless mana, which is the main reason that we're using this, just being able to make... Uh, a mana on turn two so we can play a three drop on turn two is super important it allows us to get our first nazgul down right away on turn two which is just nuts but we can also add one mana of any color if we're using it to cast a legendary spell and then that spell can't be countered so we have some baked in um sort of uh defenses against counter spells against control um and then we can generate black off of this to play the Nazgul or to play, you know, the, the double the double back, uh, to pay the double black of the Witch King of Angmar or Sauron the Necromancer, which is nice. It, it just really helps us get there super quick. And then if we bring it back with Sauron later, it comes back as a wraith, which is just super awesome. We've also got four Golems Bite. Now this is the removal of choice. All we really need with our removal is to just slow down our opponent so we can build up our board presence with our Nazgul. So this card is effectively a shock in black. Just target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn at instant speed for one black mana. But the upside here is when it's in our graveyard, we get to pay four, exile it from our graveyard, and the ring tempts you. So that's a free trigger on all of our Nazgul in play for just a card being in our graveyard that we get rid of. And it's, it's really good value. We've also got two Sam's Desperate Rescue. This is a way to bring a creature back from our graveyard. Maybe they deal with a Nazgul early. We bring it back. We get to replay it, get tempted again, get all of our triggers again. But when we get it back with this, we also become tempted for just the one mana. So super good. Can't really use it on curve though. So just two copies feels right. Moving on to the two drop slot, we have some more ramp in the form of Armored Scrap Gorger. Two mana, this is gonna come down. It's going to block for aggro and keep us alive a little bit longer. It's going to generate mana. It's going to remove threats from their graveyard if we need to. But then if this dies later and it's in our graveyard or maybe we, you know, discard it to um, attacking with our ring bearer or whatever the case may be, we can bring it back with Sauron the Necromancer as a wraith, a 3-3 three, three wraith that when it gets three oil counters will then be a 6-3 wraith. And we'll get all the plus one, plus one counters from the Nazgul when they get triggered. So bringing Scrap Gorger back with that ability is nuts. We've also got four Call of the Ring. This card is probably the best card to pair with the Nazgul because at the beginning of your upkeep, every turn that you take, the ring will tempt you. And you'll get to trigger all of your Nazgul for free without spending any mana. And also, whenever you choose a creature as your ring bearer, you may pay to life if you do draw a card. A lot of times we're just racing with this deck. And we don't mind paying life to draw cards to just keep putting the pressure on the opponent. Um, a lot of times we can just use up half of our life total and just burn the opponent down super quick and just keep drawing cards. It's, it's pretty wild. And I, I will confirm that this works 
even if you pick the creature that was already the ring bearer to be the ring bearer again, it counts and you will still draw the card. So very, very, very effective on curve. A lot of times if we don't get the delighted halfling on one, we'll probably end up playing call of the ring on two. Uh, we've also got two more pieces of removal to go with our four golems bite to kind of round out a six, six piece removal package. And we're using Claim the Precious. Now, this is three mana and its sorcery speed to destroy target creature. So it's a little bit below rate, but it makes up for that by tempting you, having the ring tempt you for free in addition to killing the creature. And because we get so much value off that in this deck, I think it is worth it to run this, but not necessarily the full play set. The two to go with the four golems bite, I think is perfect. So in addition to that, we're running a mana base that just allows us to get out everything as efficiently as possible. Four Forsaken Crossroads, just one Plaza of Heroes. We have enough legendary creatures to kind of make it useful, but we don't want to go over the top. Four Llanowar Wastes, four Deathcap Glade, two Forests, one Beside You, one Takanuma, and then six Swamps. And the deck absolutely slays. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you guys back anymore. We're just gonna check out the games, but it is wild, so let's go. All right, this looks fine. We'll start with the crossroads for green. It's slow. We'll bottom it. We've already got one. So we'll construct on three, name Wraith, like last time. Call of the Ring. Wraith. Brace. Two drop will be sick. Samwise. All right, all right. Samwise is really good too. I considered making this deck Abzan just for Samwise. of the white tree. Give me a two drop. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take the one drop. Put a counter on that. Hold up golem's bite. Ward one. That all seems fine. Choose a ring bearer. Alright, we'll just hold up Golem's Bite. End the turn. The ring tempts you, my friend. Das Ring. Oh, that was lame. St 
Stone of Eric. If a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. And sack it to exile a player's graveyard and draw a card. You. Sure. Get rid of Sam. Smash for five. Discard the crossroads. We're almost there, guys. Almost. These Nazgul are heck of a card. Alright, exiling my graveyard, drawing a card. He probably just needed to draw a card, to be honest. The top two of your library, put them back in any order, choose land and all land opponent guesses whether the top card of your library is the chosen kind. Reveal that card. If they guessed right, remove Golem from combat. Otherwise, you draw a card and Golem can't be blocked. That's That was a lot. I mean, I guess we keep it on you, right? Ward 1 makes things difficult. Yeah, I probably should have just killed it with Claim the Precious in 1. Keep the land. That's unfortunate. End the turn. Three white mana. Cycle Rafine's Tower. Claim the precious. No, I was gonna claim the precious. How dare you. How dare you. So rude. So rude. Come on. Show me your moves. Good game indeed. Hey, we got there. Uh, weird hand is weird, but we'll try it. Delighted halfling. We will call of the ring. Thank you very much. Draw a card. Take action. We'll go to 16. Swing one. We'll draw and discard. Get rid of you. Crucius. Okay, he's got a Crucius. XP 
expedient. He wants removal, I think. Choose a creature to be your ring bearer. Yes. Discard the wastes. Golem's Bite Crucius. And then we will construct a name Wraith. Looks good to me. Just gotta stay on we gotta keep him on the receiving end. Stay on the aggressive. On offense, if you will. That's fine. Kill the thing. Give me more cards. Uh, sure. Keep that on top. Why not? We'll go to 10. Draw even more cards. Sam's Desperate Rescue. Get back the Nazgul. Draw even more cards. Discard a halfling. All right, we're gonna have to stop drawing cards off the call of the ring now. But we have plenty, so I think we're okay. He has to kill kind of everything, right? He definitely has to kill both of these. That is mighty wild. Has to block there. Hit for six. I guess we play... Scrap Gorger and hold up a black for Golem's Bite and end the turn. Could play a Nazgul, but I, w I don't want to be completely out of gas if he has some kind of a sweeper like Meat Hook. Not that Meat Hook would be able to kill our big guy. But still. Shieldred, sure. Draw. OK. 
Get rid of the delighted halfling. We go to four. Can he finish it? He cannot finish it. Revenge is ours. Hey, it's Power Dragon. Sick. Uh, I think we can keep this. We'll get Call of the Ring down, so we'll be able to draw another card to draw into a land, probably. We have four Nazgul in hand. All we need is a land and we're good. All right, things are looking up now. So he could swing with a 4-1. We'd let it through. His next creature will come into play with a counter. Nope, he's not gonna swing. He's just gonna try and look for creatures. Fair enough, man. Already been tempted four times. Let's dump the scrap gorger. Never gonna be able to play it. Alright, we're probably gonna have to trade this Nazgul just to stay alive. We just, we got there quicker than Selesnia. Oh shit, we're up against Strider Stone again. We have to win. Ah, oh, two Death Cap Glades? Can't keep it. Too slow. This we can keep. We go first. We'll put back Takanuma. No, we don't need more land, thank you. Alright, Swamp, Scrap Gorger. Come on, we just need some tempting. Give me some tempting. Bank Buster, how dare you? How dare you? It's so rude. Choose a creature to be your ring bearer. Drawing, he's drawing. No, no land, please. Thank you. Still you. Deck hates us right now. It's all good though.
We have all the ramp in the world. Tempt me. No! <laughs> oh, why were we playing against control? What a jerk. Did IQs just drop sharply while I was away? Yes, my IQ did, did just drop. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get to it when we're done with this deck, Izzy. Sad. Sad panda. Coalition Construct in the yard. Now he's gonna sweep the board again. It's a big old smog. It's a lot of treasure. So that's the whole deck, right? There and back again with Mondrak. To make like almost infinite treasure. Can we can we make a deck with that with bats? Can we do that? He's got so many cards too. He just has so many cards. No blocks. He wouldn't have been that careful about attacking if he was just gonna sweep the board. Never mind. I lied. Oh, so annoying. He has 30 treasures, so... Bats with Vesuvian Duplomancy. Be kind of cool. Yeah, he's got me. He was playing too much control. Yeah, I put one of each art in here. I think it's awesome. Uh, I guess we'll keep this. We can go crossroads for green. We're not going to need the Witch King anytime soon. We're going to need more land, if anything. Alright, since we top decked the land, we're not going to play the Scrap Gorger. We're going to play Call the Ring instead.
All right, it's time to Nazgul. Let's draw a card. Take action. Draw a land. We will play Coalition Construct, naming Wraith. And we'll swing four. Draw and discard the Scrap Gorger. We no longer need it. Hold up Gollum's Bite in case he casts a chump blocker or something. Sky Fisher Spider. It's nothing to sack though. Draw another card. Uh, sure, I'll take the land. At this point, we just need to get, like, crazy stuff into play. Kinda wanna play the Construct, but Nazgul's just too good. So we'll swing in, discard the land. Hold up Golem's Bite again. Oh, he's gonna keep his spider. Well, in the turn. We could have got back the Scrap Gorger and got tempted by the ring again, which would have been kind of crazy. Okay, well, you're gonna be very sad. Golem's Bite. Make you the Ring Bearer. Draw some more cards. Dude, this deck is so busted. Name Wraith. He didn't even let us do the thing. Oh well, we got there. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons over at Patreon. Without you guys, this channel would not be possible. So honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your contributions. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe. The more likes we get and the quicker we get them, the bigger this channel will grow and the faster it will grow. I'd love nothing more than this channel to become something very special for you guys, but it's entirely up to you how fast that happens. Also, if you'd like more deck text, that's somewhere over there. And if you'd like to see what else the channel's been up to lately, that's somewhere up that way. Also, subscribe, circle below, do all the things.